With the 83rd pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles selected linebacker Nicobe Dean out of Georgia. Welcome into Eagles Draft Central, presented by Deetson Watson. I'm Gabriella DiGiovanni, joined, of course, by Fran Duffy and Ross Tucker. We started night one with a Georgia Bulldog, and we're ending night two with a Georgia Bulldog. Initial thoughts, guys. This linebacker, you know, he was rated to go so high. He fell to the third round, and the Eagles are very excited to pick him up. You talk about dog mentality, right? That's one of the things we always hear Nick Sirianni talk about is dog mentality. The best thing I could say about N'Kobe Dean was described by a scout. as the best description I've heard of a player in this draft class. On a defense full of alpha dogs, that Georgia defense, possibly the best defense in the history of college football, full of alphas, N'Kobe Dean was the alpha dog amongst the alphas. And then even going to the combine and watching him interact with all of the other linebackers out in the field, he was not participating in drills, but he was the guy that was leading that entire group. And if you go to anybody's scouting report in the media and they source quotes from coaches and from scouts, this is from Dane Brugger from The Athletic, selfless, intense, a culture changer. Daniel Jeremiah from NFL Network, the straw that stirs the drink for the Georgia defense. He is going to be one of the highest character players. And that was one of the things I heard from a scout as well. The highest character player in the entire Southeast region here this season. That's what N'Kobe Dean brings to an organization. That's what he's bringing here to Philadelphia. Every intangible in the book. Did you see those highlights? Outstanding. I mean, he looks like he <laughs> shot out of a cannon. Here's what I know. Georgia had the best defense in college football history. Yep. I don't know about the alpha stuff. I just know when I watched them on TV, this is the guy that stood out. Jordan Davis, N'Kobe Dean, and Lewis Seen, the safety. Those are the three guys. Yep. Every game you watch Georgia's defense, you're like 99, 17, and the safety. He seems like he knew where the ball was going before it was actually, it actually reminds me a lot of a guy I played against, Jonathan Vilma, who was undersized, University of Miami, just so smart, so quick, able to see things happen before it develops. Kirby Smart called him the commander-in-chief of the defense. He was described a lot as a very good communicator. When you think of those trio of linebackers at Georgia, Quay Walker, N'Kobe Dean, and Channing Tindall, uh, for him to be a leader amongst three incredible linebackers, how is that going to serve him well once he gets the linebacker room here in Philadelphia? The scene that everybody brings up is the national championship game against Alabama. They're down on the goal line. And you could see that they're kind of sorting through things down in the goal line. There's a, a coverage call. And Channing Tindall, the linebacker next to him, busts the coverage. And, and uh, N'Kobe Dean gets after him on that in-between plays. You could see him get into his face very, very intense. Very next play, what does Channing Tindall do? He comes in and gets a sack on the very next play. And so that speaks to not only N'Kobe Dean and his ability to you know, fire up his teammates, but also understanding how to coach his teammates up. And he talked about that at the Combine. He was asked about it, about that interaction. He said, yeah, if that's a different player, I know I have to go about that in a different way. That is a hallmark of a great leader, Ross. Yeah, let, let's go over some facts, okay? He won the Buckus Award. Yep. Best linebacker in college football. Unanimous All-American. He has a 355 GPA in mechanical engineering. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And how about just the stats? Ten and a half tackles for loss, six sacks for an off-the-ball linebacker. They yep. blitzed him a lot at Georgia. It's part of the reason for his success. But he still got it done. Six sacks. You know, we talk about all the production for all the other Georgia guys. It's because N'Kobe Dean was taking most of it. He's a great blitzer, and he has to love playing behind Jordan Davis. Absolutely. You know he will be excited about it's that. a good reunion here in Philly. I'm going to add, he also won the Buckus Award in high school as well, which is which is pretty cool to do it in high school and in college. Uh, but on that note, we're going to bring in Eagles insider Dave Spadaro, who joins us from the draft room. Uh, Dave, Howie Roseman loving the Georgia Bulldog, Bulldogs so far this, this uh, draft. What can you tell me going on inside the draft room right now? I can tell you Jonathan Gann and, and Nick Rallis were absolutely thrilled with this pick. And, and they came out of the draft room and the Eagles medical staff was there and they hugged everybody. And, you know, there had been some speculation about N'Kobe Dean and his health. And I don't, the Eagles don't seem to be concerned about it. Of course, we'll hear officially from Howie Roseman shortly. But they have done their research. They have thoroughly vetted these players. And a question for everyone out there. We've heard for so many years that the Eagles – just don't take linebackers in the first round. Haven't taken a linebacker in the first round since Jerry Robinson 
1979. So do we get a mulligan here or some consideration that they take a linebacker who everybody thought was going in the first 20 picks? Is that does, does that count at all here? Do the can we get like a little asterisk here that the Eagles make this pick and and have a player who look? I mean, I, I think that they really had him rated right there among the very best linebackers in this draft. Somebody who can come in here, add athleticism, sideline to sideline, probably play the will linebacker position. Uh, great competition with Kaiser White with Davion Taylor. Now they've got T.J. Edwards. Uh, how do they use Hassan Reddick, who's listed as a linebacker? Uh, it's really exciting what the Eagles have done here, transforming this front seven defensively. And give a lot of credit, obviously, to Howie Roseman and the entire pro scouting staff because you know a lot of people were saying, oh, well, why didn't you go linebacker or safety at the end of round two when you select Cam Jurgens? Well, they watched the board. They saw everybody that was available. So many linebackers still on the board, and now you see that they felt pretty good that one of those guys was going to be able to fall to them. Here it was N'Kobe Dean, Dave. Yeah, you know, Fran, they really did play the board very, very well. Stayed patient tonight. Uh, I'm sure that Howie worked the phones. I'm sure there were a lot of conversations and potential opportunities, but the Eagles stayed true to the way they've evaluated players, and they come out with two prospects that they feel really, really good about, two winning players, two athletic players. Uh, the, the strength in the middle, right? Strength in the middle offensively and strength up the middle defensively. Last night with Jordan Davis and, of course, building that linebacker group with N'Kobe Dean. Dave, let's talk about that linebacker group because TJ Edwards had an excellent year last year. They signed Kaiser White in free agency. Now you add N'Kobe Dean. Now they've got several pieces there that they can plug in together. Yeah, and also Davion Taylor was really making progress last year prior to suffering that injury. I mean, he was really getting around the football. You could just see the light was going on for him. You could see how athletic he was getting to the football. So, yeah, Ross, it, there are some really good options here, some depth being built. And I think the Eagles are going to have some fun uh, in training camp looking at their group of linebackers and seeing – the cream that rises to the top here. Nicobe Dean obviously is somebody with a pedigree and championship player, highly competitive, highly productive, played at the, the very highest level in college football and starred. So uh, I think it's going to be a great little uh, subset to watch here when training camp begins. It's really going to be fun when the pads go on. Dave, you're embedded there in the draft room. Like you mentioned, you, you took us inside as the pick was being made. Just kind of observing and listening and talking with all the scouts and with all the coaches, is there a, a buzzword or two that consistently popped up in talking about N'Kobe Dean? Do you have any kind of walking away themes when it comes to him? Yeah, competitiveness, product, productivity, uh, energy, love of the game of football, all the things that Nick Sirianni believes in. And so... I mean, both he and Jurgens really kind of fit that description. Plays to and through the whistle, Fran. Yep. Um, and I look, look so, the, this is a sideline to sideline linebacker who the Philadelphia Eagles have drafted, and can't wait to get him in. Now, injury wise, a little bit nicked up, but nothing unusual. Not ideal stature that you would look for, uh, but that hasn't slowed Nicobe Dean one bit in his football career. Well, Dave, thank you so much for your time and taking us inside the draft room all night long. We will see you for a full day tomorrow. Going to be a long one and a fun one. Definitely. Thanks, Dave. All right, guys, like I said, last night we started with a defensive player, obviously making that splash for A.J. Brown. Today, picked up another guy in the trenches on the offensive side of the bar, ball, finished up the night with linebacker N'Kobe Dean. I think things are moving pretty well for the Eagles so far through two nights. This is, has just gotten better through mm -hmm. two days, right? I mean, obviously you have the two big additions there with Davis and Brown on night one. You get an offensive lineman to add some more depth and competition, and then you get N'Kobe Dean, arguably the top linebacker in this draft. A lot to be excited about. Yeah, two things I think are really important to note. Number one, look at social media, okay? <laughs> Everyone is saying the Eagles are crushing this draft. It's not just us. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just PhiladelphiaEagles.com or whatever you're watching us on. Everyone nationally, everywhere is saying they're crushing the draft. The other thing I love about it, this is the guy that a lot of Eagles fans probably would have yep. loved that they took in the second round. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, Eagles fans wanted a linebacker. They wanted N'Kobe Dean. The Eagles got the center they wanted in the second round and still got the linebacker 
all the fans and clearly the Eagles wanted here in the third. Dave mentioned training camp, and I was already getting excited, chomping at the bit for it to be July. Uh, but we'll also carry a press conference later on tonight that you can tune into live on PhiladelphiaEagles.com, all the social media channels, and the Eagles' official app. Tomorrow, join us at 11.30 a.m. That's an early wake-up call, Ross. You better be here ready to go, all right? <laughs> Tomorrow. Hope he's for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> He'll just eat leftover hot yeah, He it. doesn't eat breakfast. 11.30 <laughs> a.m., please join us for Eagles Draft Central, presented by Dietz and Watson. Have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.